Okay, so I'm back. We're doing this. Unfortunately, I just have to skip watch through all this. My recording software went to Bluey, and now I have to redo it again. I better check the bathroom. Let's, yeah, take a, let's take a look inside. And... Dead bitch! Can I skip this? No. Ah, lovely. Took me a second to realize that, that I was fucking screaming. But I saw dug itself through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. That sounds painful as hell. And then, and then... Everything went black. And now we're continuing. Okay, when I finally opened my eyes, I found myself at a huge ceiling. A ceiling that I remembered well. Well, I, re I see someone look at me. Again, somebody I've seen before. These fuckers! Ah! Ah, you're awake, finally, are you okay? <coughs> Now, just get your eye, blah, blah, blah. Uh, huh? Uh, um... You're unconscious, dude. Like, I had to carry you back here. Well... Go to hell. It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Oh, yeah, dead bitch in my... Uh, I'm not making um... that noise. Hey, are you okay? I have a dead bitch in my bathroom. No, I'm not. So, it wasn't a dream. What I saw, it was real. <laughs> That's right, it really did happen. Psycho's dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and exploded out of me. It made a fucking mess on the floor. It was black, goopy, and honestly, it looked like I was possessed by a demon. Everyone kind of just stayed away from me at that point. Yeah, my head turned around 100, 360 degrees. It started speaking in tongues. It was a whole ordeal. Monokumo even freaked out a little bit. Everyone was weirded out. I shut up. I shot up. Took off now. <laughs> hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Saik is fucking dead yet. Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Saika is completely and irrevocably dead, dumbass. No, I have to see it for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What? What do you think is gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it that fucking... Is it gonna do to sit... Just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this, you dumbasses? Our friend Saika is... Well, actually, she's... I don't know if she's your friend, but I consider her a friend. I do not. FYI, this is Negi. Negi considers Saika a friend. I consider her the dead bitch in my bathroom. She, she's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. And we're back to this shit. I realized she was really gone. Fuck. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Like, seriously, this place sucks. We, this place sucks. There's some weird giant freaking bonsai tree in the background um, but we don't I'm wearing a purple fucking suit I don't even know where I got a purple suit I didn't even know though I thought this entire place was uniform but they just gave me a purple suit like fuck yeah just have a purple suit then why the fuck are we here <laughs> it be obvious Monokuma told us to come here. Ah. Well, thank you. That cleared it up. <laughs> Hold on, don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we, I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. The fuck does that even mean? But, so... I'm the one who convinced them come. Right now, we don't... We need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to piss him off. You know, the guy who can, the guy who's locked us up here has God knows how many reasons to, reasons to hate us, and has just as many ways to kill us. 
Correct. <laughs> I guess she agrees with me. We don't need to make more, any more sacrifices than we already have. Seriously, we're locked in a school. One of us is dead. The bitch is in my bathroom, by the way. We know. We know you keep saying that. Thank you. I just wish somebody would tell me why we haven't done anything about the dead bitch in my bathroom. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obviously he's the one who killed Sayaka. Maggie, shut the fuck up. Wrong! I would never do something like that. I would never do that. Even if you can believe anything. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> I have no idea what voices I'm doing. Or even trying to. I may just be fucking with my pitch. Anyway, he's here again. Fuck off. God damn it. Here we go again. Hey, um... Uh, somebody violates a school regulation, I will... I absolutely... Blah, 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 blah. I absolutely won't interfere. I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life. Here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bare times one rule. But, but... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You know the answer. One of... The one who killed her is one of you. So good luck with that. You know, good luck with... You know, trying to figure out which one of you idiots is... Is a... Is a fucking murder. Good luck. You know, because nobody here is... Because you're all like, what? 16, 17 years old? Good luck with going through that nonsense. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah -wah? Mm -hmm. What's the matter? You guys all look like... You're about to see a dove get shot up with a g with a Gatling gun. Is it sad that I want to see that now? Well, like, not particularly a dove get shot, but something get shot with a Gatling gun? That sounds epic! Actually, where the hell would you get a Gatling gun? <laughs> Don't you remember what he told you when this all began? Yahoo! Why did you decide to kill Saika so you could graduate? Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong! Nope. Sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could... Testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They had, they all had the same look. At them. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um. Are you serious? What? What is Some, this? Somebody killed someone. Some. Wait, wait. Sorry. Someone. Someone killed someone. The good lord. Ishimaru. Pronoun game. Stop using it. <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold hey, on. Hold on. Just don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Shut the fuck up. You're all idiots. Before we do anything, I would like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. <laughs> if one of us really did hit kill her that person gets to graduate from the school right huh huh come on don't play dumb that's what you said isn't it if you kill somebody you get to leave <laughs> <laughs> i'm not i can't laugh like that <laughs> what why are you laughing <laughs> it's cuz <laughs> naive you're just so naive you think it really that easy you can just kill somebody and walk out of here. I don't know if I... I can think of one kill that would make it really fucking easy. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? I just gotta kill the guy controlling your motherfucker. Your dumbass. Oh. Uh, but you can't find him. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck you. Then just for another hour and a half, if Monokumo and Neki just... Kept going, fuck you. Everyone was dumb. 
everyone was done, like dumbfounded, like they have been doing this for an hour. How is Neggy even still breathing? Hey, You're come on naive, now! Naive, devilishly naive, hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing is just begin. The real thing. God damn it. Now then. Are you ready? Allow me this to explain the second rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill somebody if you want to leave. Well, that's lovely. Can we continue? However, okay, lovely. Even if you do that, there's still some, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to hold, uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You're, refer you're referring to the number six of the school regulations. Anyone who has killed a fellow, if you are the blacken that commit the murder, you cannot be found out by other students. The fuck that does not... Is that what you're talking about? That is not what number six said. It, it literally says, anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate, unless they are discovered. In other words... Bingo. It's not enough just to kill somebody. You have to actually get away with it. Lovely, right? Go fuck yourself, you bipedal fucking plush toy. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it, hoodie band. I just, again, these two are just arguing for another hour and a half. Which naturally means you're in a system in, in place to assess whether or not you've got some away with it. Yahoo! For a certain amount of time after the mur murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial. God damn it. Mm. Yep. It will begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together. Including the blacken who committed the murder, and they, they and the spotless students will engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. Okay. So apparently, we have we have two sets of triplets. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote! If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, exactly what is this punishment you keep talking about? Yamada, shut the fuck up. Hmm... Oh, well, put it simply... What? An execution! <laughs> an execution? What the fuck is going on with your freaking... Like, Hair. It looks like it's pointing like, get me the fuck out of here, this idiot's gonna get us killed. What? And by execution... What the fuck? Is there other meanings for execution? I'm pretty sure the only thing I can come up with right now is execution, get your ass killed. However... Execution is... Execution. EXECUTION! Thank you, Monokuma. Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! The last one was pretty... That actually sounds pretty cool. I, I... I don't know, but... That rhymed a little bit. <laughs> so, to make sure I understand... Oh my god, you slow ass motherfucker. If we get the copper right then only they die. But if we get it wrong, the rest of us get ex- Yes! Thank you! Good lord, I understood it the first time! Well what done! What a smart little chan chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So basically what- 
capture is what's called a Lajuk system, or an Inquisi <laughs> Inquisition type thing, which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Mm. But judge carefully, because all of your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Oh, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule is has been added to the regulation. Hey! Wait, hold on a sec. The hell are you talking You're about? You're freaking insane. You know that. You're freaking insane. You know that. Huh? Hmm? What the? A class trial. What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? The only pay... Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. The hell are you talking what? about? Punishment? Hmm. I, I don't know. Let's throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison for something. Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want. I'm not gonna be a part of this. I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish. Stop it! You're the one who's being selfish. Do whatever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Evil standing right before me, I'm trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't get give in to such evil. It is in my style to stick out and resist until the very end. If you really want to get out of here, ah! you have to go through me first. Uh, as he said that, he came charging at us. Though it was more of a waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. But then... Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Huh. That is both an upskirt shot and the fact that they use shadows to censor it. This game is morally upright? I don't know how to put it. I don't know how the game's, uh... Oh, well. Huh? Huh? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! Wait a minute, does that count if uh, Monokuma attacked you first? That motherfucker, that's cheating as hell! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear Gunnir! And pink. That's a pink. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. Just like that, she never moved again. No way! What the? I don't. Uh, this can't be real. Yeah! Yeah. Well now. Now I'm painfully aware. Now I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really want to keep the corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. Yeah! But I guess you all need to be taught a lesson. After all, what? What an amazing promise! And now you guys understand, right? You're now fucked. Now you see just how serious I am. We're fucked. He could have just said, well, you're fucked. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. I don't know how you would disintegrate us. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Got it. Again, we could just go with... We're fucked. Didn't she have some spears hitting her in the back? I thought I saw a couple spears in her back. Jingo's body has been held by a bunch of fucking spears. Thank you, Neggy! An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. Eh. It was the first time I've seen in the moment somebody's life come to an end. And now you can see Thrashers, or whatever those skeleton horse things of Harry Potter is. Congratulations! And now we're back. Nobody... 
Yeah, I really hate that 10 minute. I only have 10 minutes to record a single clip. Ah, uh, nobody could deny what they see. Junko, who was until so gonna go, been our friend. Wait, does death make you not a friend? Or you're just going. Was dead. She died. She's been murdered. She's been stabbed. We can. Oh my god, this game likes to like. I like the game so far. They love to like hammer in facts. Yes, I get it. She's dead. In simple terms, it's the death of the good. Good lord. Hey! Um. I'm gonna start skipping some shit. <laughs> if it's just. Because I don't want to waste my time reading all this. Because it's just repeating facts. It's not really that shocking. It's just, she just died. That's all. She just went and died. You stabbed her! I don't think that counts. Shut the fuck up. Bring it! Bring it, you bipedal plushie! There's no more. It's no more remarkable when the invisible. Inevitable divide to mine the entire human race. Go shut again. Shut the fuck up, you bipedal plus. It was just natural. It was the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this, isn't gonna, this isn't some superhero comment, so it's not. Like, so it's not like when you die, you don't really die. <laughs> no, this is a video game. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you put her in, you put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been waiting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or you being metaphorical. Do you think that I wanted to waste time this whole time? Damn it! Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokumo. Well now. Anyways, none of this matters. None of that matters right now. I have something I like to give you in your search for the black. This little file has all the information I gather about the death in question. I like to call it. It's the, the Monokuma file! Okay, game, if you want to read, please do! In fact, voice this entire game, please. Because I can't do voices, and, my, and I'm 80% sure my voice is boring as fuck. I mean, naturally you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing. So you can only do much, so much with a corpse. Some of the stuff I legally can't say and the other will get you in prison. Shut the fuck up, you bi bear. You bi pedal plushie. Are you gonna keep doing that? Yes. Go to hell. Bring it! So instead of I've gathered everything up I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because <laughs> the, the, the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I gotta... I gotta... I got to see it all go down. So then... So wait. Wait. So then you know who killed Ty? <laughs> of course I do. But then I couldn't probably... Possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, put put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't want to have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a fucking choice. <laughs> and Monokuma runs the fuck away. So, we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. When I said he ran the fuck away, I meant he just popped. He, he popped back in afterwards and just like, oh yeah, we're, we'll meet up. We'll meet up for the class trial in a little bit. And then started walking away. Then disappeared laughing maniacally. Okay, she told you. And with that. Monokumo disappeared again, laughing like a fucking maniac. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with so many... With this idiot who keeps putting some shit... Who keeps saying the same shit. With Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Good job.
And for... And for no... And for who knows how long, nobody said a fucking thing. Maggie just continued to fucking monologue. And the fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. There was also the idea that one of us actually murdered somebody. Good fucking war, Nagi! Shut the fuck up! Somebody's dead, we murdered somebody, and Junko stabbed on the floor over there. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. Oh my god. Like I didn't just go through this five seconds ago. God damn it. We find ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. The worst suspicion of all. I don't know. Veiled suspicion is kind of bad. At least with open suspicion, you know these fuckers don't trust you. I mean, it's bad for... But with veiled suspicion, you're fucked. You don't know who... That would make you paranoid a fucking mess. Oh. And yet, even as the... As a pervert... As a... Perverse a little blah blah up in terrible situation. She didn't know the she didn't show the slightest hint that it got into Hey. There's no time to wallow in your depression. We got shit to do. Stop monologuing. Hurry the fuck up. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all lose all faith in you. And leave the same disastrous results as having a total faith in something. What? But in other words, corruption, cooperation is absolutely the key at this point. You decide to trust or not trust, of course, is up to you. <laughs> Continue to talk, think about, and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help. Anything. What the heck? Say, saying stuff like that is just. <sighs> how many times have I told you anyone who can't adapt will die? Ironic. Death will be the only thing that awaits those who are unable to or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. Go to hell. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all gonna fucking die. Why are you people arguing? We have way more important shit to do with. Like the fact that we're all gonna die if you don't hurry the fuck up. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. So we have n no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We'll just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? I don't know. We mass suicide is always an option. Really stick it to Monokuma. It's like, ha! Now I will play with you. Oh my god, they just killed all these guys. They just killed themselves. Well, shit. I did not see that coming. <laughs> no, way, no way in hell am I letting somebody kill me. You're gonna give yourself a freaking, like, burst blood vessel with, the, like, those vine, like, those blood vessel vines, like, veins like pulsing in his forehead he's gonna like burst a fucking blood burst something and I don't think the shade of red or pink his face is is a good color like for somebody to have it's actually quite subtle you can barely tell but it's uh, still not a good shade for somebody for somebody to have alright then let's do it do this. We just have to do it. Everyone keep repeating that statement. And then we'll... Oh my god, Negi, stop monologuing. Phil just using like a mo mantra to keep... To give himself strength. But they're right. We have to just do it. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we'll do. On top of that, there's something I need to find out. I don't know why Saiga had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm to blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. <coughs> I'm terrified to find out.
But still, I have to know. Otherwise, I'll never... I knew I'd never be able to <laughs> accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. So... I'm gonna see what the fuck's going on. Junko! Junko! Okay, she's dead. I touched her wrist to check her pulse. Like they do in the movies and stuff, but she's really fucking dead. Thank you, Nagi! There wasn't really anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and lost that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Huh? Hold on. <laughs> hold on, just hold it. Just wait a second. She's dead, that means... <laughs> what? Everything that's happening so far has been... Is real? It's not a joke or a... Oh my god! <laughs> Let me out oh, of here! Somebody, save me. somebody... Somebody, help me! What's uh, your problem? You're just now accepting that. So do I have to talk to these assholes? I don't want to talk to these assholes. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's nap, Killer, we need to decide, decide what to do about searching the crime scene. What do you mean? <laughs> You're thinking of putting something on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area under. After all, if the call first decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't, I don't like have to think anyways. Let you guys figure out who killed the chick. Hmm. Okay, then we'll let we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we just can't leave him there alone. What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what first thing you would do by volunteering for guard duty? Uh, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck you. So then. Fine, I will stay there with on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. the player Kobot faced the fence with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Shut the fuck up, Yamada! Huh. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still fr pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Wait, do I really have to talk to all these assholes? I really don't want to talk to these assholes. Those are my assholes! What the heck? I hate this, but still, if we don't have any choice, we have to figure out who did this. Else we're all dead. Thank you! People are funny, really. Oh! Hmm? <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the mummy. Film a file we received. I should look at that. I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Oh, so she's about to point out. God damn it. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead and look. Notice it in. Interesting about where Saika died. <sighs> I think I yelled this out a lot during the last episode. Nothing good! She died in Mikoto's dorm. Ah. What? She's right. <laughs> then could it be. Shut the fuck up. Hold on a second. You got that all wrong. Just for once. For one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I traded rooms with her. I did because she was afraid. <laughs> What the heck? That? Just tell us the truth. Well, fuck you, idiots. Huh. You think I did it? Seriously. Fuck all you. Okay, then. Uh, to be fair, I probably would do it. But fuck you. So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigations. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Saiga. We'll have to collect clues from a foundation and then construct an arm. argument due to a final decision. If we get this wrong. So. Well, do I really need to say any more? Actually. I, I'd rather you didn't. No. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. That. Gurigo left. Hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. Nobody gives a damn. And just, like, and just like Korea, he was gone before we were. Yo. Yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head up to the scene of the crime. Mm. Hmm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. Whatever, if 
whatever son of a bitch did this here right now. They're thinking destroying that evidence? You're fucking dead! You better not let me find them. I'll skip the try I'll skip the trial and gave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious, I will fuck them up. And these deadly words hanging there, he and Saika ran off. So um I mean, we're not detectives on anything, you know? How are we and we're gonna investigate a murder. Hey, I took eh, eh, eh I took forensic science in high school. Uh, not really. Actually, what was that class? Fuck, I know I took something. It was something like that, but yeah. How will we even do something like anyway. that? Anyway! We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Saika. What are you implying? This is very you. suspicious. Yeah, because... Because you're a fucking idiot. You know what? Yeah, pick me! And when we all die, you can blame yourselves. How about the... I wish Negu would point this out. You're all jumping to a conclusion. Okay, what proof do you have? She was in my room. So if I killed somebody in the gym, who owns the gym? I'm telling you, it wasn't me, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Don't come any closer. Are you going to kill me next? To be fair, I want to. So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot, but it's not... For sure, then Mikosa's guilty yet. Thank you, Aya. The shot. Um, it's true. We may as well at least check. Just at least check to just to check just to check. <laughs> Even I wanted to, I couldn't help him. That. Huh. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with blood. It takes one glimpse, and I black out. Oh yeah. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you, anyways. Your face looks dopey as fuck. And, uh, I'm gonna point this out. There's a dead body on the floor with full, with a lot of blood. How are you not passed the fuck out? Anyways, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go. You have to hear me out. That was the point. Everyone already left. Their parting looks at me. It's still filled with suspicions. Does everyone think, really think I'm the killer? Being serious. How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is. No. Electric chair! No. Zzz, zzz, no. Zzz, poison gas! No, no, I'm not re hearing that again. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did. Who really killed Psych? Uh, oh, we have people still here. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file before we go. The victim was Saika Ma I can't pronounce that name. The time of death is estimated around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Ma Mikoto's room in the dormitory. All of this suggests that the, took place, the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was stabbed in the amendment where there was also... There was also an injury on her right wrist. Specifically, specifically, the wrist appeared to be suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push for it if we want to find out what the fuck happened. Otherwise, I have to find out the truth so we can all survive. And besides, to, to find out how she was fucking killed. It said it. Monokuma Fire One has been added to your truth bullet section of your handbook. Huh? Jockey, you aren't gonna help investigate Shiro? Um. But I can't leave here. I feel so. Junko here. I feel sorry for her. To stay with her. Okay. Do you just still freaking. Uh -huh. I seriously don't want to die here. Help yep. me! Apparently, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me. The fuck is Neptune going to do? I don't care who, who it is, just get me out of here! I see. Yeah, I, I figured that. Can I still talk to him? <laughs> not talk to him. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so the only difference is there's no interacting with everyone else. So. Or 
No. Well, whatever. Okay, so I gotta go and... Yeah, I'll leave the game. Hmm. Okay, one well, Map. 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 These idiots, that idiot. Okay, so there's my... I just realized I have a zoom button. Two what do I have? I have the Monokuma files. Huh. So that's about it. Uh... I got a new thing and I'm just checking on it now. I still love the moment, though. So. Project Zon- Uh... A vice, yeah, there it is. A tool to use to grip and stabilize materials, like metal, to shape and fix it somehow. Just the name can burst a strong sense of power. Okay. Kind of curious. Does it say anything? Hmm. Hmm. That's about it. It doesn't show if they're still alive, it's just... Okay, so let's just, uh... Go to... What? That's a walk? A motherfucker. Motherfuckers, I have to walk there? First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. My room. Smoking your crotch won't make any progress in without investing. Oh, auto trap. So I decided to head to my room where Saika's corpse still remains. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. It might reveal something new. Well, I got a lot of stuff to investigate. There's a notepad. The notepad's still there, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Fuck you, it's always relevant. Always relevant. Um, the toolkit's still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence to use at all. Which makes sense, I guess it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like that. Yo! Yeah, seriously. Oh, Monday. What? We ain't even, what? We ain't even exactly in the mood for building bullshit. <laughs> building fucking furniture. 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 Blah, blah, blah. Right? Yeah, you haven't used yours either, then. What? Ah, just me. Nobody what? busted this out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we are talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkit yet, because, like, why the hell would we? Toolkit has been placed in the truth bullet section of your handbook. Thanks, assholes. Okay. Uh, there... There's gorges in the bed, like somebody has atta somebody attacked it. What the hell happened here? This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean somebody used in the it was used in the attack somehow? And plus it's been taken out of the sheath. It's gonna look like a blade itself. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself so now. I shouldn't be surprised it's cold and cut uh, coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off parts of the blade and the handle. And yet the handle the 
handle is especially missing part of it's especially missing a lot of its coating. I'm really coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a bit. Replica sword has been added to your truth bullets. Okay, so Play sand where the sword was on. Yeah, I get enough of this. Okay. Just keep it. Key on the ground. That's my name on it. So just lost in my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We have to break keys. Wait, don't I have her keys? When I switch room, we switch keys too. So Sayaka would have the key in my room at the entire time. Wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get in my fucking room? Could have. Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter what, who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if my shirt's here, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, it's the point of even switching it. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any of you. Oh, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and somebody else grabbed it or something? Uh, no, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when she switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer? Switching rooms have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. Uh, the scratches and gourd on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Yes! It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right in the other room. If only I heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Okay. Why? Huh. Do you not remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could have happened in the room right next to you, and there's no way you well. could have known. Perhaps this is another way, another of Monokuma's strategies, creating ideal setting for a murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Why am I reading that? This is the replica sword I brought back in self defense. I mean, it was using the cat. Yes. And plus, the sword's been taken out. So it must be just a sheep, but. Huh? There's some scratches on the sheep. It must have been with something sharp. Huh. How did sheep get scratched up in the first place? You know, somebody used the sword during the struggle. It doesn't make sense for the sheep to do. I mean, if you're gonna attack somebody with a sword, first thing. You do is fucking unsheath the damn thing. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It would only slide off in the middle of a fight. So why is this scratching on the sheath? Replica sword sheath is blah. Yeah, back up. Oh. Okay. Linda, what do you got? By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The girl could have already destroyed in some of the evidence, right? Before Anyone found the body? I mean, there's a trash from the, yeah, in the do dorms, right? Could have tossed some stuff. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That's dirty bastard. Duh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. Good for him. You're fucking dead. If I ever find the son of a bitch who did that, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Fuck! <laughs> that look is like, fuck! I didn't think of that. Yo. That get all sorted out. That'll get all sorted out when the time comes. It's like I that face is fuck, I didn't think of that. Sakura, what, you got anything? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty? Too? Hey! I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply do not whether or not, do not know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever the decision of the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. That's a bad idea, I know. More evidence of a struggle. There's scratches and gorges on my wall of the bed. And the wall. Uh, yes, thank you. Mm. Well. Perhaps in the Yes, thank you. Uh, not much. Looks like there's less. 
Did Sayaka see how dirty my room and decide to clean up? Not relevant, but... I think the trash can would be a place I'd be able to look at, but no. Uh, let's talk to Kirigiri a little bit. Hey, Kirigo. I, I quietly called her name. She was investigating there, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? No, not really. Looks like you're up. The censorship of every upskirt shot with shadows is very nice. Just putting that no, out there. not really. I just note every time I notice it, it's just that is very nice. Like it's it's censorship, but it's natural and not forced. And the fact that <laughs> it's just weird to me. Okay. I'm searching. Thank you. Okay, for what? Searching? She's down on me, carefully inspecting every inch. Did you lose a contact or something? You're an idiot. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems so concentrating pretty hard on it. You're a fucking idiot. A few seconds later, she suddenly stood up and straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? No, I don't think so, but what? Not that she... Nadi, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? My room's shit. Hey. With respect, there's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> yeah, sure. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched the room floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find a single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim. Not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something. Thing while I was looking around. It looks like the lint roller in my room has been used, but I never touched the damn thing. Did somebody have used it? I see. Very interesting. Your you room didn't have a single hair in it. Can somebody use your lint roll without your knowledge? In other words, somebody of you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Saika or the killer? Well? That's the question, isn't it? Mikoto's room clean. <laughs> it's like, okay, he's a teenage boy and his room is clean. That is not how shit goes. Okay, so all I got left is the bathroom. Okay, now let's go to the bathroom. And on the other side of that door is that. Oh, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped in the, the bathroom. Well, looking at him made it painful clear it wasn't a dream or a loser. She might have lost everything that made her hurt. Sigh. All at once, I overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into fucking tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Saika have to die? I don't know. Because of a knife in her stomach. That usually tends to do it. I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. She got stabbed in the stomach. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But there's... But that thought held me up and supported me. Yeah. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, hello. The water of the shower gets turned off at night now. Thank you! Huh. I look past Saika to the wall behind her. There I saw... What? Written in blood was... Number 11037. Did Saika do it? Yes. I totally don't know what that means. Damn. But I told myself I couldn't face for something. No time to think like it. Pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said to... Some sort of sharp object has been... It's a fucking knife, man! But whatever they use to kill her, where did they get it? It's definitely something I should look into later. So, also, according to the Monokuma, uh, Saika's right wrist is broken. It is. Right, her, her right, her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. There's something sort of glittery on her wrist, too. Right there. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery that definitely concerns me. Nothing that concerns me. There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. 
palm of both her hands are totally stopped. So how come only the left finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the stab room in her stomach has is what the killer what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, it must have happened earlier on. I mean how wounded was her wrist to get broken after she already been killed? Hmm. So it's possible very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room. When she got in her wrist broke, and after that the killer pointed her back and they inflicted a deadly wound. Okay, so you're an idiot. Leave the bathroom? Yeah, I'm done. It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Mom? The bloody numbers. It's mostly Sayaka's... Never seen something written in blood before, really? As if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often... Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? Ah, uh, Kirigiri, you have no fucking idea. Seriously, he... You should hear the monologues he comes up with. It's fucking weird. The number she wrote. Wrote. What do they mean? One one oh seven oh three seven. I have no idea what that could possibly. So. Be. The way she wrote the numbers, making me think she wanted to use her body to block them. She wrote them in that location while she was sitting there. I mean, she must have wrote them by turning her hands toward the wall. Break something in that position. You know what the, the result? Well, think about it. You're not gonna tell. Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end, and you will remain, and you will remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not gonna tell. Dying message. Wait. You mean I couldn't? I had to talk to her to get that, and it couldn't have been me. I looked at it! Fuck you, game. Sounds like Kyo... Kai... I'm gonna call her Kirigiri, because I can't pronounce her first name. She knows what Saika's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I can talk to. When I come... Remember, who better than the ultimate pro? Makoto. There's one thing I want to ask you about. Do you know... Do you know how the door to your bathroom is broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? It gets stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom dorm frame has been added to- yeah. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? Actually, I'm referring to the broken door knob. Huh? Broken door what? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you see right away on the top. I did with- Killed Kirigiri said and shut the back the door. Huh? The doorknob. What the fuck? No, Kirigiri, wrong person. What the The doorknob's practically falling apart. What is why is it like this? What is it would seem Somebody must use a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it was obviously. This was obviously done. What? That's, it was intentional. It's only once to do that. So... Just maybe they're trying to get the door unlocked and end up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. The only girls' bathrooms can... Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She did... She stood there for a moment. Lost in thought. But apparently struck with su sudden realization. Shot a question. Just a second. I have one more question for you. You mentioned that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched room. So you're saying only you and Sayaka knew mm -hmm. about it? Hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense she was really starting to get into I involved. see. Huh, then that clears that, huh? But. What clears what up? I'm Goodbye. So well, I'll see you later. Fuck you! For all, as if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the damn room. Bathroom door, yeah, thank you. I really don't understand any of this, but I already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. Let's start looking into where the. 
murder weapon might have come from. Also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see myself. But on top of that, I'm sure there's some other areas in the game. Managed to see where everyone else is. Next. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna stop now because goddamn, I've been doing this for like an hour now. Okay, so, bye.